Hi, we're here at Atos Technology Days in Paris, and I'm here with Philippe Duluc, your CTO for Big Data and for Security, and we were discussing quantum computing. And I know from the audience, many people ask, what is quantum compu computing? Yes. And you're the expert, can you explain it? Okay, it's quantum computing is a, is a long story. First, we had the, the first quantum revolution with the invention of lasers, of uh, optical fiber, of the transistors for all the, the semi-conducting industry. And now we have a second revolution of quantum with the, the new phenomena we are using uh, like entanglement, like superposition. We use this property to develop what we call qubits. Mm -hmm. Qubit means quantum bits. They are similar to classical classical bits, but they are quantum. Yes. And with these quantum qubits, we are able to develop quantum hardware. Mm -hmm. And on this quantum hardware, it's possible to run quantum algorithms. And what is very interesting with the quantum computing is that these quantum algorithms are, have a very big speed up compared to the classical uh, algorithm. And this speed up may be exponential. And for that reason, that a lot of people are working on quantum algorithm to try to accelerate, to speed up the, the algorithm. Because you know, with the end of the Moore's law, uh, 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 this law states that every uh, eight, uh, eight, 18 months uh, the, the power computing is doubling. Mm -hmm. With the end of Moore, Moore's law, we will, have, we will have difficulty to provide our customers with acceleration and quantum computing can bring this possibility to go further after the end of the model. Enjoy this video? Don't forget to like, subscribe, share and get notifications of my new video.